Greetings, fellow classic TV fans. As the son of the 1930s heavyweight boxing champ Max Bear, Max Bear Jr. took on Hollywood. By 1960, he'd appeared in multiple episodes of Maverick, Hawaiian Eye, 77 Sunset Strip, and more. And in 1962, the Beverly Hillbillies began its nine season run with Max Bear Jr. playing the lovable but dim witted Jethro Bodine. In contrast to his character's sixth grade education, Max actually held a master's degree in business administration. And as a cast member of the long running hit TV show, Jethro became a TV icon. Unfortunately, that led to him being typecast, which back then could be detrimental to the future of of an acting career. So instead, Max decided to focus his efforts on filmmaking. It began with his 1974 production, Macon County Line, which reportedly he had begun writing back in his hillbilly days on the back of the scripts. Giving Max another opportunity to act, the film was made for about a quarter of a million dollars. It then went on to gross over $30 million, holding a profit record for over 20 years. Then in 76, he pioneered the concept of a movie title based off of a hit song. This led him to produce and direct the classic film Ode to Billy Joe. So although Jethro's aspirations of being a big Hollywood producer didn't quite pan out, Max Bear Jr.'s actually did. 